Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about how to use uh, single phase and uh, three phase transformer in MATLAB sampling. So in this video, we are going to discuss about how to set up the transformer for a step up operation as well as a step down operation. So first I'm going to explain about how to use that uh, three phase transformer, right? So for that you go to uh, Simscape, right? The main you go to specialized power system. So the specialized power system is available in the inside the Simscape. So just just you click Simscape and then go to electrical and then comes to a specialized power system and then you will see a yeah, power grid elements. Okay. So I am working in this MATLAB 2022B version. Okay. So in this version, uh, go in that uh, power grid elements. So in that you can find out three phase transformer two winding okay so just to uh, drag and put it in, in that uh, sampling area okay it is loading okay wait for some time so here you see that right uh, we are seeing that uh, three phase two winding transformer so in this uh, this is uh, primary and this is secondary so when you click inside so you will see that uh, parameter of that uh, that mean uh, winding one and winding two detail right so in winding one you can fix any configuration that means star star with the neutral and then star with the ground and then delta uh, delta that mean in delta there are two configuration d1 and d11 okay so you can configure any type of uh, network it, whether it is a delta or a star okay and also here also you can fix that uh, delta star concept okay so next one is uh, here i am going to configure a uh, star ground star ground okay and then here you can next you can fix the parameter of the power transformer so here the first one is uh, for fixing that uh, nominal power of the transformer and frequency of that uh, transformer and winding one uh, detail so here you are going to fix the uh, voltage that means primary voltage 735 kilovolt and then you have to fix r1 l1 value and then so here you see that uh, secondary voltage winding two is secondary voltage is 315 uh, kilovolt right so this is configured in the form of uh, step down concept okay and then you will see that uh, different parameter like magnetization resistance and the magnetization inductance okay so here you have to fix the values for a uh, uh, power frequency and then voltage primary voltage and the uh, uh, secondary voltage everything okay so next you need to provide input for this so for that i'm going to use three phase programmable voltage source so here i'm going to use three phase programmable voltage source i'm going to connect this here so before connecting this one so i'm going to use ground okay so ground is to connect that uh, the source neutral so here we need to measure the primary side voltage and current and secondary side voltage and current so for that i'm going for VA measurement. So here you see the three phase VA measurement. Just you to use that three phase VA measurement. And then so just to connect input A, B, C. Okay. So next time I'm going to connect the same thing in the secondary also. So next time I'm going to uh, need to connect some uh, load okay so for that i'm going to use rlc load just you have to use three phase series rlc load so here i'm going to fix the so first you have to find out the voltage so here is voltage is 315 kilovolt so just you have to use 315 the frequency will be 60 hertz and then here i'm going to specifying that uh, the power right power i'm going to fix around uh, 100 kilowatts okay 
So next time we want to connect this load here. So next thing we need to see the result. So for the time we want to use scope. So the scope is to measure the, the quantity of voltage in current. So here I am going to use number of port, port will be 4 and then layout I am going to use 4. So that means I am going to measure the primary voltage and the primary current and secondary voltage and the secondary current. Okay. So this is VP and this is IP. So this is Vs and this is Is. Okay. So uh, next thing we need to connect power GI. Okay. So to connect power GI and then I am going to fix the timing will be 0 0.1 second. Okay. So now you have to check the result of the system. So before that here we need to fix the primary voltage. So primary that means voltage um, that should be matched with that primary. So here I am going to fix, sorry input right. So just you have to copy this primary voltage and then paste in here. Okay. Now you check the result. Yeah, this is uh, the result of the <coughs> primary voltage and this primary current and then here is the uh, secondary voltage and secondary current. Okay. So you will see that uh, detail right. So this is a variation of that means you will see the voltage right. So this is this comes around uh, more than 5 into 10 power 5. So here you see that right voltage step down right. So this comes around uh, um, around only 2.5 into 10 power 5. So voltage is step down in this system. Okay. So next time I am going to same system I am going to change to uh, step up operation. So here I am going to change this one to 315 kilo volt and then this is 735 kilo volt. So this is 315 and load is 735. So again I am going to check the response for the step up operation. Now you see that right, the voltage comes around only 2.5 into 10 power 5, but here that uh, secondary voltage comes around to more than 5 into 10 power 5. That means uh, the voltage is step up from uh, around uh, uh, 2.5 to 2 5 something. Okay. So now that uh, transformer will get the step up operation mode. Okay. So this is the way of we can uh, configure that means you need to fix the uh, that mean power rating frequency and then primary and secondary voltage. So this is a working of this uh, three phase uh, two winding transform. Okay. So thanks for watching our videos. Kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye.